What's up, guys? I'm Youngster Skatemore, and I am back with another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Today's battle is against uh, Kovatron. Kovatron is one of my favorite streamers, so I'll leave a link to his uh, YouTube and his Twitch in the description below. You should definitely go check him out. Um, his PC actually broke a couple of weeks ago, but I'm pretty sure he's trying to get some uh, money to fix that. So hopefully he'll be able to, to uh, stream again soon, but you should definitely go check him out either way. Anyway, looking at the team preview, my team destroys his team on paper. He uh, has a huge. He has three Pokemon a week to fire on his team, and I have Charizard and Entei, so they'll both be able to do a ton of work against this team. He has also three Pokemon a week to fighting, so Keldeo will be a ton of work. Keldeo will be able to do a ton of work against this team. Plus, he has like Garchomp, which Keldeo will be able to um, do a lot of work with with HP Ice. Also, he has three Pokemon a week to ground, so Dragon will be able to do a lot of work this team, considering he has Earthquake and a Pokemon a week to Dragon. And also, he has five or at least four physical attackers. Unless that age slash is, uh, if that age slash is a physical attacker, he has five physical attackers. So Sableye can do a ton of work. Can basically just burn anything except for that Congo there because it has guts most likely. But um, and he can even stall out that Porygon Z. It's a uh, only definite special attacker. Also looking at his team, I uh, see that Garchomp. I'm really worried that that's a Scarfed Garchomp, so I definitely want to get my uh, Sticky Webs up this battle. Stealth Rocks won't really do much, but I should still try to get, get them up anyway if I can, I guess. So um, without further ado, let's get into this battle. Um, uh, Kovatron's going to leave off with his Conqueror, and I'm going to leave off with my Smeargle. I guess he left off with that Conqueror because he uh, had nothing else he really wanted to go to sleep. I mean, obviously, he didn't want anything to be put asleep, but if something had to be put asleep, he wanted it to be his Conqueror. Also, Conqueror has a Mac Punch, so he would be able to at least break my Sash before I could do anything to him. So I guess that was smart. Um, anyway, he goes with the Mac Punch like I thought, but it doesn't matter because I have a Focus Sash. So that's going to break my Sash, and I'm going to be able to go for the uh, Spore and put that Conqueror to sleep. So now I just want to set up my Hazards. He could uh, switch out, but that would only be able to stop me from setting up one Hazard. And all I really need this battle is Sticky Webs. But, um, I mean, he may have some Focus Sash Pokemon, like that Bisharp may be Focus Sash. So I still want to get up my Stealth Rocks too. Anyway, for uh, some reason he decides to stay in with that Conqueror, I would have switched. So um, I couldn't put something else to sleep, first of all, and because uh, of Sleep Cause. And second of all, so he could have taken out my Smeargle before putting up Stealth Rocks. Because I learned after this battle that his uh, Bisharp actually was uh, Focus Sash. So he definitely should have switched out there, but whatever. I get up both of my Hazards, and then that Conqueror finally wakes up and finishes me with that Mac Punch. So um, that's fine. Smeargle did what he needed to do. As long as my Smeargle gets up both of his hazards and rapid spins any uh, hazards that um, the opponent might have, Smeargle did his job. That's all Smeargle, that's all I ever need Smeargle to do. If Smeargle can do that, I can win battles. Anyway, I sent in my Charizard, because I know there's nothing he wants to switch into my Charizard. Fire Blast actually um, could have killed, but I wasn't. it uh, wasn't definite. I'm not sure if I should have gone for Fire Blast or if I made the right, uh, wrong play, but I, w I went for uh, Air Slash instead. Um, thankfully, I actually got the flinch, so I got really lucky here, and I, got, I flinched that Conqueror. That thing could have destroyed me with a Stone Edge, and I would have lost, uh, he would be, he would have been able to take out a huge threat to his team, being Charizard. But, uh, anyway, thankfully I get the flinch, and I actually go for the, uh, Solar Beam this turn, because I wanted to be able to finish off that Conqueror with a 100 accuracy move. Um, I didn't really care if he switched, like, uh, so he wanted to preserve his Conqueror, because he would, anything he switched into, I could probably kill with another attack, except for maybe Garchomp. But I think Solar Beam plus a, plus a, uh, Fire Blast could have taken out that Garchomp. Anyway, he switched into his Aegis last year, and now I'm thinking of just going for the Fire Blast and taking that thing out. I guess he just sent an Aegis Last because it's uh, the most expendable of all his Pokemon. But anyway, he goes for the King Shield, and but I guess that's just a scout. I mean, obviously I'm going to go for Fire Blast, but I don't know. Also, it can uh, stall out my Sun because my Sun only stays up for five turns. So I guess he just wanted to get my Sun away for uh, one turn, but uh, whatever. Next, he sends out his um, Mawile, and I guess he's thinking of going for the uh, Sucker, Bush, Sucker Punch because there's not much else he can do to my Charizard now that is um now that his um I don't even know. <laughs> now that his uh, Conqueror got that flinch, so um, he's going. I'm I'm pretty sure he's gonna Mega Evolve and go for the sucker. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Sorry guys, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for the. Me I'm pretty sure he's gonna Mega Evolve and go for the sucker punch. There, I got it. I can speak, and so I switch into my Sableye because uh, since I'm obviously not attacking, I'm switching out. The sucker punch will fail, and then I'll be able to burn it. But uh, even though he'll switch out, or he'll probably switch out, I'll be able to burn every he switches in. And even if he sends in that Conqueror, which has Guts, I'll be able to finish that off at the Foul Play next turn. And it won't get off a uh, single attack against any of my Pokemon. So I was I was fine with him switching into my Conqueror, or his Conqueror, because now I can just take it out. And Conqueror was basically one of the only threats to uh, my team that Kobotron actually had. So um, I go for the uh, Will-O-Wisp, and uh, that's going to do some damage on the burn to that Conqueror. And I'll be able to finish it off with a uh, Foul Play. So, um, that worked out really well for me. Sableye is going to do a ton of, can do a, Sableye has the potential to do a ton of work this battle. 
So, um, yeah, I take out that Hawk Hunter. And now he's going to send in his Porygon Z, because that's the only special attacker he has. It, unless that Age Slash is special attacking, but it's dead, so it doesn't matter. It can't special attack or attack from beyond the grave. So he sends in that Porygon Z, his only special attacker. And I go for the will o -Wisp, because even though he's uh, not a physical attacker, it's always good to get off that residual damage, especially since I learned that he is Choice Scar. I mean, not Choice Scar, Life, life Orb. So every, every turn, as long as he attacks me, he's going to uh, deal, not deal, 22 damage, 22% 22 of uh, his HP is going to be gone every single turn. So I can just basically recover stall him. Unfortunately, he goes to the Shadow Ball and gets a special defense drop. So now that means he'll be able to take out my Sableye. Sableye won't be able to burn anything else. I mean, he won't be able to uh, take me out yet because I do have recover. But he'll be able to take out my Sableye before he goes down. But thankfully, with the way um, the min-max rolls worked out, he's not going to be able to take me out until he goes down to the Life Orb damage and burn damage. So, um... Yeah, I get healed by leftovers here, and I'm going to go for recover again, just to uh, make sure that that Porygon dies eventually. So I go for recover, and it's going to go for the uh, Thunderbolt once more, because I guess it's the most powerful move it has that can uh, actually touch my Sableye. It probably has Tri-Attack, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and uh, Shadow Ball. So anyway, it goes for the Thunderbolt. That's going to bring me down to really low HP. It's going to take even more damage from the Life Orb. It's going to take even more damage from the Burn. I'm going to heal myself from the leftovers. So I'm in a very good situation right here. I'm winning, I believe, 5-4. He still has his... Uh, no, I'm only 5-5 still, but I'm going to re use Recover, and he's going to go for the Thunderbolt, and so the Thunderbolt's going to take out my Sableye, unfortunately, but the Life Orb Recoil combined with the Burn is going to end up taking out his uh, Porygon Z. So now I still have, I think it's 4 versus 3 now. Yeah, he still has his Bisharp, his Mawile, and his Garchomp, but I still have my Keldeo, Charizard, Dragonite, and Entei. So I'm in a really good position here. The rest of my team matches up extremely well against the rest of his team, and he goes into his... Mawile. I thought he went to his fish shark. Never mind. He goes into his Mawile. Oh, yeah. And I switch into my, uh, I send in my Entei, because I know Entei can basically Sacred Fire anything on his team. It'll be able to kill the Mawile, kill the Bisharp, and, um, do some damage and maybe burn the Garchomp. So, I'm pretty sure he's going to switch in his Garchomp, unless he wants to lose his Mawile or his Bisharp, because the Sucker Punch wouldn't be able to kill me. So, he switches into Garchomp, and I can do the Sacred Fire. Um, Sacred Fire is going to do, I don't know, maybe a third of his, uh, health. Maybe a little bit less. But, unfortunately, I go over the Sacred Fire. It hits, but I do not, as you can see, get the burn on this Garchomp, which is uh, quite disappointing because I really want to cripple those uh, those attackers. But anyway, I'm Choice Scarf, so even if he is Choice Scarf, I'm going to be able to outspeed that Garchomp and hit it with another Sacred Fire. This time, I do get the burn, uh, since Sacred Fire does have a 50% chance to burn. I'm not sure if I said that already. And he goes for the Stone Edge, I guess, just in case I uh, switched out to my Dragonite or my Charizard for making the Earthquake. So I guess that was a good play, but I guess he forgot that a Sacred Fire has a 50% burn chance, so he didn't expect me to uh, stay in. Anyway, I go for one more Sacred Fire. Unfortunately, it's not enough to kill, so he's going to get off uh, one more Earthquake on me. But thanks to that burn, the Earthquake's not going to be enough to kill my Entei either, and that Garchomp is going to go down to the burn damage. Um, now Kovatron, all he has left is his Mawile and his uh, Bisharp, and I still have my Charizard, Entei, Dragonite, and Keldeo. So I know the rest of my team will be able to destroy, to destroy the rest of his team, so I see no point in switching out and risking that Big Sharp going for like the uh, Sword Sands or Knockoff, I don't even know. I just decided to uh, stay in and let that Big Sharp kill me with a Sucker Punch because I can beat the rest of his team with the rest of my team. I don't need Entei. Entei did work, and Entei did enough. So, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, I sent in my Keldeo next because obviously Secret Sword is four times effective against uh, Big Sharp being Dark and Steel type. So he switches out to his uh, Mawile. This wasn't the smartest play because if he didn't switch out, I would be able to kill his Bisharp. And then, uh, since Secret Sword isn't a one-hit KO against Mawile, he would have been able to uh, hit me with a play rough and take out my Keldeo. It didn't affect the uh, outcome of the battle, though. Kotron had already lost by this point. So, I don't know. I guess he wasn't really thinking because he knew he had already lost. So, anyway, um, I put the Secret Sword. doesn't take it out, but since he just switched uh, since he just switched in his Mawile, I'm going to be able to go for another Secret Sword. He doesn't go for the Sucker Punch, I guess, because he knows the battle is over. And he knows that Sucker Punch is not going to be enough to take out my Keldeo or take out the rest of my team. So, next he sends it. Oh, maybe he misclicked. I don't even know. Next he sends it in uh, his Bisharp. And um, that's fine, it's going to raise his attack, but it doesn't matter, because I'm going to be able to take it out with a Secret Sword. It's going to be four times effective, and it's going to easily, wait for it, easily take out that Big Sharp, and that's going to be GG. Uh, good game, Kovatron. That was a really good battle. You guys, oh, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, GG, good game, Kovatron. That was a really good battle. Um, I've had a couple other battles with Kovatron. I might post uh, another one of them later, like some other time. But um, in the meantime, follow me on Twitch if you want to challenge me to the battle. That's the place to go. I get most of my um, 
I get most of my battles from Twitch, so definitely go check that out. Also, follow me on Twitter. I post an update whenever, on Twitter whenever I post a new battle, or whenever I post another new video, or whenever I stream on Twitch, or whenever there's other handy news that you might want to know. So definitely go check out my Twitter. Um, definitely go check out my Twitch. And um, other than that, please drop a comment down below, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.